Thank you. You know, strengthening our state's economy and providing good jobs are both tied directly to the workers who need to be ready and able to fill those jobs. With this in mind, we will be focusing on education of our youth as foundational to our workforce of the near future. We will be holding hearings and engaged in efforts that focus on school funding and K-12 reforms. We want these to be bipartisan discussions involving reforms in public education, both as to funding and to student achievement. We saw a lowering of state revenues in the previous three school years that was bolstered temporarily by one-time sources. And we are still working out of these uh, dynamics. So the question continues to occur, how can we do more with less? Our ultimate goal is to establish a sustainable model for achieving and for establishing accountability for Ohio students. Ohioans have continuously expressed their desire for reforms in public education, both as to funding and student achievement. So our job will be to identify and advance the, uh, along a path toward achieving both the, of these competing goals. This will require focusing on assisting our local schools with re uh, realistic ways to meet their cost pressures. We expect, uh, well, I'm going to give you a little bit about the hearings that will be coming up. We, we expect our hearings and our work to extend throughout this year and into 2013. We want this to be, as I said, a bipartisan process. And we will include outside and interested parties in our processes. We expect this work to be accomplished through the House Finance Committee. And we intend our process to run parallel with and ultimately to complement work underway now by the administration on the same topic. With that, I'll bring the speaker back to summarize. Yes. 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 <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Number two for a reason. <laughs> Uh, you know, listening to this, it, it, it made me think of what this caucus is all about. Um, there were some bills that were not mentioned because this caucus has done so much. Uh, House Bill 86, that was criminal sentencing reform that really saves the souls of some of these folks that are in prison, that made a mistake, but when we mix them in with some violent criminals, they come out to be violent criminals. And we fixed that. Uh, our Jordy Ford leader handled a tough, tough, tough congressional redistricting bill, and that got uh, passed with bipartisan support. So what's this caucus about? How many times do you see local, state, or federal governments kick the can down the road? This caucus picks the can up, fixes it, and puts it back on the shelf. And then they want to do more. And that's what this caucus is going to do more of. We'll be working on casino gaming legislation, some other things that aren't uh, too sexy, but things we have to do. And that's the other issue with this caucus. They do the things they need to do. Uh, the casino gaming will ensure that the games are fair, the state gets their share of the tax uh, revenues, and that those casinos are built, because that's what the voters will have passed. They wanted four casinos. We will deliver four casinos, but we will deliver four places to be entertained that are safe and fair. Uh, with that, thank you for coming. And Mr. Speaker, do you want to say anything? I think uh, Lou just uh, said exactly what I think of. I started here in the House in 1968 as a member. And uh, I've seen a lot of caucuses come and go. This caucus is remarkable in that they are problem solvers. This state is in a position where it needs problem solvers. And these pe people, I, I couldn't help but watch some of the freshmen that I had recruited report to you, this is an outstanding caucus that has done tremendous work. And will continue to do that work. And it will do what Ohio needs to have done for the future. So that indeed, 
those of us that have had the privilege of being here when Ohio was one of the leading states in the country in creating jobs, in creating new businesses, once again occupies that very significant role. I'm just extremely honored to have been around here long enough to work with this caucus. Thank you all.